Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the second and final session in the Coalition of African American Leaders Virtual Job Fair event series. Today, we will be hearing from nine employers hiring for positions across multiple industries. Each presenter will speak for approximately five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. After presentations have concluded, we will then be transitioning into small group discussions with employers. Small group discussions will be held as one continuous 50 minute session and you will be able to move freely from room to room. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. One other thing that I would like to note before we kick things off here for job seekers on the line, you should have received a, an email prior to the event today, letting you know some of the most recent uh, software that you'll wanna be sure to have downloaded if you did not yet already. And that is what you see on your screen there, uh, the Zoom client for meetings. Uh, you'll want to be sure to have that downloaded prior to the breakout room session, or you may not be able to move freely from room to room, which of course is one of the big kind of pieces or, or elements of this that uh, we find unique to, to our system or our platform. So please, if you do not have that downloaded, you may have to leave the session to do so, but you can always rejoin using the same link that you already did. I'll keep an eye out on the waiting room and of course, let you back in if you do need to download that. So without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and introduce Jeff Rudier with IDES. Jeff? Yeah, good morning, everybody. I just want to thank you for attending today's um, virtual hiring event. And I also want to thank all the employers for being here and all the, all the partners that have been working on this workshop. So thank you, everybody. And next, I'm going to introduce Bizwa Puyo with uh, Department of Re Rehabilitation Services. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Bishro Fuyal. I go by Biz. I'm a business consultant with the Illinois Division of Rehabilitation Services uh, and a member of the Workforce Development Unit with our agency. Uh, I'm joined today by my colleague, uh, Arthur Hawkins, uh, and together we support field office operations in Cook County. Just a little bit about us. Uh, we're the state's lead agency that provide uh, employment support and opportunities for individuals with disabilities. Uh, we kind of serve as the intermediary between DRS field office staff, uh, our counselors and our customers, and the employers and business community um, and workforce partners. Uh, so we're, you know, Grateful to be collaborating with our partners here today on the call. Uh, you know, we want to thank all the employers that are joining us today, and uh, you know, um, especially want to thank all the job seekers that are here today. Uh, you know, we hope the event today will lead to uh, employment opportunities for all of you, and you know, help um, our employer partners um, fulfill their workforce needs. Uh, I do want to thank Daniel and all members of the planning committee for putting this event together and inviting DRS to be a part of it. Uh, you know, we look forward to um, similar collaborations in the future. So, uh, you know, I'm really grateful to be here. And uh, now I wanna introduce uh, Mr. Ken Fobbs with uh, Employment and Employer Services. Uh, thank you, Biz. Uh, listen, I, I want to thank everyone for, let me turn up here, maybe you can see my little hit. Uh, I want to thank you all for, for joining us today, all of our employer partners, as everyone has said, all the job seekers, thank you for coming out. You're going to hear some great information, uh, receive some great information about opportunities. Uh, the employers are looking for you. I hope you'll follow up with them, and uh, there's some great connections for everyone here. So on behalf of the uh, Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, uh, Employment and Employer Services, all of the uh, partners that help to develop this, this event today, uh, and definitely COLE, the Coalition of African-American Leaders. Uh, we welcome you and thank you for, for joining us. So I appreciate you for coming. Thank you. Dan? Excellent. Well, thank you all to the folks that obviously made some introductory comments here. Uh, one thing that I do wanna note as well before we kind of delve into our employer presentations here, uh, Obviously for folks that aren't, aren't presenting, if you could just make sure if you're a job seeker or an employer presenter or a partner, if you could just make sure that you're muted during the session, that way we don't have any sort of uh, interruptions that take place while folks are presenting. So please just make sure that you're placed on mute. That would help us out uh, tremendously. 
Without further ado, we'll go ahead and delve into our first first employer presentation, and that is going to be Metra. Shawnice, are you available to present? Yes, good morning. Good morning. You can begin whenever you're ready, Shawnice. All right, thank you all for being here today. Um, so I am Shawnice Hatch. I'm the recruiter here at Metra, as Dan mentioned. And uh, just a little bit about Metra, we are one of the largest and most complex commuter uh, rail systems in North America. We serve uh, six, um, six communities, Cook, DuPage, Will, Lake County, and McHenry County. And our agency is linking communities in Northeastern Illinois by providing safe, reliable, and efficient commuter services. Our motto here at Metra is called My, My, My Metra, and it's taking personal responsibility for our riders and for each other. So we are hiring. Uh, we have several positions open and uh, Metra is centrally located in the West Loop. Some of our job openings include legal roles. We have attorneys, uh, attorney roles open, general counsel roles open, legal secretaries, paralegals, et cetera. We have several finance positions such as accounts payable, uh, payroll managers, payroll clerks, um, contract and grant and treasury roles, et cetera. Several police opportunities from uh, regular police staff to crime surveillance uh, specialists to commanders, et cetera. Um, various procurement and inventory positions such as um, materials and fleet inventory. Our real estate uh, opportunities include positions like leasing managers, um, a, a host of IT positions like data analysts, asset analysts, et cetera. Safety and environmental positions, uh, a vast majority of our positions are safety because that is Metro's number one motto uh, is to be safe and uh, a bunch of several niche positions like construction, bridge builders, track layers, signalmen, conductors, uh, engineers, electricians, et cetera. We also offer programs. So some of the programs that we offer include paid internships for college students. Right now we currently have internships that are going throughout the entire year. You might be familiar with summer internships, but our internships can last throughout the year. Um, we have mechanical apprenticeships. Um, these include carmen, electricians, sheet metal workers, and machinists. Um, these, in these apprenticeships positions, uh, these folks are pretty much led into the trade and then move on to become regular full-time uh, employees. Um, we have engineering apprenticeships, which include the assistant signalmen and electricians. And then in our transportation team, we have trainmen, dispatchers, and locomotive engineers. About some of our positions, uh, some of them are union. Most of the positions that are out in the field are union roles. Um, and then we have a lot of positions that are recruited by a lottery and that's due to the high volume of our applicants, such as our conductors. So if you've ever applied for one of those positions and you're wondering why you never got the call, it's because they just randomly select uh, a bunch of folks, okay? Um, as far as our worksite locations, we have our main corporate office in the West Loop. We're on Jackson and Clinton, right across from Union Station. And then we have our Union Station location, Millennium Station, LaSalle Street, and a bunch of other yards throughout our six county region. Um, our salaries are competitive. We have exempt and not exempt in contract positions. Now about our benefits, we have a very robust benefit package, um, a bunch of paid holidays, uh, vacation and personal time off, medical dental vision, life insurance, tuition reimbursement, railroad retirement in which we uh, heavily um, focus and put out there. If you are familiar with railroad retirement, then you know 
um, how good of a benefit it is. But if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's very much so something to look forward to. It's very much so something that uh, employer or in people that are seeking employment look for because uh, it is a great plan. It will, I think, in the future substitute social uh, security. Instead, that might be uh, obsolete in the future. So railroad retirement is a, a great benefit that we offer, um, as well as our flexible spending, transit benefit, deferred compensation, and our EAP plan. And how to apply, go to our website at metrorail.com or you can click, if you have your phone available right now, click on this QRC code and it should take you directly to our careers page. There you will see all of our openings and uh, please go ahead and apply to whatever position uh, fits your needs and skill sets. And thank you so much for having me today. Look forward to talking to you all in the breakout rooms. Thank you so much for that presentation, Shawnee. And as uh, Shawnee just stated, just want to highlight um, for the job seekers that are on the call, please plan to stick around for the breakout rooms portion of the event where you'll be able to uh, meet directly with Shawnee, ask any questions that you do have regarding any employment opportunities that was covered here today for Metro. Thank you so much, Shawnee. Our next employer will be Chicago Lighthouse. Angela and or Martha, are you available to present? Yes, good morning. We're here. We're both here. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Martha Younger White. I'm Senior Vice President of Employment and Rehabil Rehabilitation at the Chicago Lighthouse. And with me today is Angela. Good morning, everyone. I am Angela Kearney, Human Resources Recruitment Manager. And it's just a pleasure to be here. Good morning, everybody. Great. Um, we wanted to share with you today's our mission. Um, Chicago Lighthouse is in the Chicago area at 1850 West Roosevelt. Next slide. Um, we're a world renowned organization and we serve primarily persons who are blind, visually impaired, other disabilities and veteran communities. And you have a picture here of one of our veterans uh, working at our Illinois Joining Forces Call Center. Next slide. So some of our primary roles that we recruit all the time are uh, call center agents. Call center agents are with the Illinois Tollway. Uh, that call center is now located here at 1850 West Roosevelt, but it's over at 750 South Halsted, which is at Halsted and Polk on UIC campus in their student center. So call center agents are responsible for providing high quality customer service assistance when responding to inquiries pertaining to IPAS electronic tolling accounts, violation notices, billing issues, technical issues, or general map questions. They're also responsible for assuring speedy resolution of inquiries utilizing all available resources. In addition to our customer server call center agents with the Illinois Tollway, we also have now Secretary of State Customer Service uh, Call Center, where we just uh, launched that about, about five or six months ago. So periodically, uh, when they need to buy fields, one of the smaller ones, we have that call center as well. We also have customer care uh, call centers with medical uh, hospitals such as UI Health, and they are called medical schedulers. Right, so, right. next slide, <laughs> please. Thank you. So the medical schedulers are responsible for providing a world-class patient and family-centered experience across the continuum that contributes to the customer satisfaction, retention, exceptional quality, value, and financial health in a high-performance contact center environment. This position requires high quality, high quality customer service assistance when responding to inquiries pertaining to a variety of clinics affiliated with Hood County. We have North Shore, uh, which considered a patient access reps. We have a small piece of uh, Howard Brown. Now we just acquired that last month. So we're definitely growing. We also have a small piece of Advocate. These uh, medical schedules are responsible for scheduling appointments and utilizing all available informational tools and websites. Now with North Shore, next slide, they are considered patient access reps, representatives, which are responsible for pro professionally answering phone calls from patients interested in scheduling an appointment with a physician, scheduling a medical test, or answering general questions related to the health system services. The patient access representatives are also responsible for patient education with regard to available online services 
and they're expected to use online knowledge management tools, including Epic, as resources to assist with patient calls and issue resolution. So uh, our medical schedules also use Epic. Before we go into the call center benefits, just want to share that with all of our call centers, they are required to take a typing test. They are required to pass typing tests within 25 to 30 words per minute with a 90% better accuracy. In addition to the typing test, they are also required to pass a computer assessment that's affiliated with that particular call center. One thing about our uh, employment service area that Martha will go into in a couple of minutes is that if you do not pass your typing test or your computer assessment and you are a disabled veteran, that department works very, very closely with you to make sure that if you do not pass for one particular call center that month, perhaps you can go on to the next one. Uh, our call centers like Illinois Tollway or UI Health typically have a training class every month. So yes, yeah, so we have training classes coming up November and December. Definitely visit our website and that'll be coming up soon. Now, some of the benefits to the call center, as you probably read, are the state-of-the-art new call centers, no nights and weekends at some of our customer care centers. There are flexible work schedules, which can be part-time or uh, full-time. There's a competitive uh, salary benefit package, which uh, additional 25% salary, 10 days paid vacation, 12 paid holidays, and six days accrued over the year, up to 16 days available to be accumulated. There is insurance eligibility the first month. The first of the month after 30 days of employment, uh, Chicago Lighthouse covers 65%. Uh, dental and vision insurance is offered. There is also long-term and short-term disability, life insurance two times your salary, and company paid pension plan after one year of employment. Also want to say there are remote possibilities. So once you complete, complete your training, three to four weeks, three to six weeks, depending on how you have done on the floor uh, in the call center, providing you have your own equipment with the equivalent uh, required internet speed as well as uh, internet speed and pass the, uh, the other tests that's required for remote opportunities. So with that being said, I'll pass it over to Martha and mm -hmm. if you have any questions, we can definitely talk in the breakout rooms. Thank you. Hi, yeah, I represent the employment services uh, program of our agency and we actually assist individuals who fit into our mission groups uh, to find competitive integrated employment. We enhance their employability. So for example, if you need any assistance with a resume, uh, getting ready for job interviews, applying for jobs, we also assist with job retention. So we'll, even once you get that job and you need supports, that's something we can work with you on. We also work with employers who are seeking job ready candidates. We do get calls from employers who are looking for uh, candidates with disabilities or veterans. So that's another aspect that we can uh, help you with. And we also teach on assistive technologies. Uh, persons with disabilities sometimes have uh, different needs uh, to perform their jobs and, and that's something we can teach them on. Um, next slide. So here you have our contact information, both for Angela Kearney and myself. Um, as Angela said, there is a website that if you wanna check for additional job openings, even though we highlighted the call center positions, there may be other positions that uh, we're also hiring for. And um, certainly either one of us can, can address your questions in, in the, the separate rooms. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Martha. And thank you, Angela, for your presentation. And again, just want to reiterate for folks that just joined, please plan to stick around for our breakout room session uh, that'll be taking place after all employers have presented. There you'll have an opportunity to meet directly with the folks that you'll see presenting here today, ask some questions that you have regarding any opportunities that are currently available. Thank you both. Our next presenter will be Purpose Workforce Solutions. Arlene, are you are you available, excuse me, to present? Yes, I'm here. Excellent, you can begin whenever you're ready, Arlene. Hi everyone, thank you and, and welcome. Um, as stated, my name is Arlene Chandler. I'm the Director of Partnerships and Training at Purpose Workforce Solutions. Uh, Purpose Workforce Solutions is a full service staffing firm in the Chicago area. Um, so, so glad to go over and present what we have available for you. Our mission at Purpose is to be more than a staffing firm. Um, we hire um, 
young adults um, and put them into entry level roles. Um, as a full service staffing firm, of course, um, we are equal opportunity, uh, but our passion point is uh, young adults 18 to 26, primarily uh, centered around the fact that prior to COVID, um, the highest demographic for um, housing instability was in the um, demographic of 18 to 26 year olds. We understand that um, finding a way for individuals to increase their um, retention efforts in a role not only impacts them, it impacts their households and ultimately impacts their communities. One of the ways to do that in regards to our mission is to ensure that people are ready to work. Most of us have to balance uh, our home lives, childcare, all those things that can sometimes cause it to be difficult to get up and um, sustain employment um, when it becomes challenging. And so what we did is we put together a team of resources and we build them around our employees as they're out on their job assignments. This allows them to uh, have sustainability and efforts uh, in discussing how to balance out and fill in those gaps as it becomes uh, difficult to manage. We have a, um, a vision at our organization that is around economic mobility. Um, economic growth comes when there's an opportunity to have uh, time on the job, training in that specific role, and then an opportunity to grow into another role of specializations after you have completed an entry-level position. So where do you begin as a job seeker? Oftentimes you're thinking about entry-level roles. You're like, okay, it doesn't require any prior knowledge. So that's one of the reasons why there could be a good fit. Um, also entry-level roles allow you to have transferable skills. It, once you spend more time on the job for all of us, it gives you an opportunity to build confidence and develop a sense of responsibility. You can also gain a res an idea of where you want your uh, yeah. career to go and what you want it to look like in the future. And then it gives you a chance to be in diverse work settings. And so what we encourage you to do is start to kind of think about some of those things that you are interested in. As it relates to purpose, currently what we have available, I'm ready, next slide available jobs. Um, as a staffing firm, our rotation of jobs comes in all the time, especially in the Chicago area and throughout the greater Chicago area. I wanted to list some hot jobs that we have right now. There are two pathways that are really important. Um, we have an entry level role for people who are maybe have less than three months of experience consistently on the job. There is a pre-employment training pathway. If you finish some job training, uh, some job development programs in your community, but you're still looking to fine tune those skills, there's a pathway for you here at Purpose. We have a paid pre-employment training that goes for uh, anywhere between four to six weeks. And on that time, when you are out working, there's a coach that shadows you and gives you information and feedback every day on how you can improve. That stipend that you would receive is $300 per week. And then we also provide continental breakfast and lunches for those who need that as well, as well as assistance with any type of transportation during those time that of uh, training um, when you're coming into our office located downtown. For those of you who are ready to go right out into a direct hire position, we do have positions that are starting at $20 an hour, and I'll discuss those a little bit more. Um, couple of highlights here of why the pre-employment training could be a good pathway for those in the demographic of 18 to 26. If you found yourself on a job and you're like, um, people are assuming that you should already know what to do and you're just getting started, there's a level of frustration that can build. And there's also a level of um, coaching that can come out of that as a benefit. So that's a Monday through Friday uh, opportunity in our training. As it relates to direct placement, Ready for the next slide. Our direct placement that is a hot role right now is our production assembler position. This position is located in Gurney, Illinois. Um, we do have transportation for all of our employees that are going out to Gurney. There is a contribution that they would pay for the carpooling portion. Um, the production assembler role requires that you be able to stand, follow instruction, and pay really close attention to detail. As I mentioned, the, the, the starting pay for this position starts at $20 an hour, primarily because this is a 
specialty position. Um, we have three shifts that run anywhere between a 6 a.m. to a 3 p.m. or a 2 to 10 or a uh, 10 to 6 a.m. And as you can understand, with the salary on that position, it will increase if you're going into a midday or an overnight shift. I really need people to think about this position as a way of uh, developing some additional skills and then also gaining some income where there may have been some gaps over the last six months. This position does require there to be a large level of stamina because of the travel. And even though we are assisting with carpooling, it's about a two hour travel if you think about carpooling and leaving Chicago and going to Gurney. The benefits offered, purpose pays on a weekly basis. Um, we do ask that all of our employees have the ability to receive a direct deposit, and that could be either having a checking account or either a pay card. Um, prof professional skills training, as I mentioned, that is available for our um, 18 to 26 year olds that are going into the pre-employment training, but it's also available to our employees that are out on a job site. We want to make sure that anything that they're interested in, as far as coaching and professionalism, those trainings and supports are there because because it assists with retention. We have um, short-term and long-term assignments, um, so that can be flexible for those of you who are looking for that flexibility. And then there's access to resources and uh, professional coaches to assist with any barriers that could be currently uh, under way that's preventing you from getting out there in the workforce. Next slide. So how do you apply? You can always visit our works uh, website. Um, what you would need, of, of course, you must have a valid ID. That's a state ID or driver's license. We also ask that you have your social security card available because that assists with paperwork and processing. We talked about direct deposit. That is really important that you have those available. Purpose Workforce Solutions is a drug-free work environment. So screenings are required at the time of the interview process. You must have the ability to stand and to complete a shift that can go anywhere between eight and nine hours. And then time management, is also something that we're really uh, focused on because attendance is ultimately important to exceed, uh, exceed expectations and achieve anyone's goals. So we all know that you have to persevere in this world. Challenges are gonna come at all times. We hope that we can be one of those resources for you that helps you get to some of the goals that you have set forth for yourself coming up in a new year. I'll be in the breakout section um, to answer any questions that you have in more detail. Please give us a call. Scheduling appointments is something that we're doing um, Monday through Friday. Our office information is listed here. Thank you again for joining us today. We hope you have a, a great time with the rest of the employers. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation, Arlene. And again, no, I'm driving this home, but just want folks to know uh, we will be conducting breakout room sessions with all of our employers on the line today. So please plan to stick around. Uh, think about some good questions that you want to ask them. And of course, you'll have the opportunity to meet with them directly in those rooms and uh, get answers to the questions that you do have. Thank you so much, Arlene. Our next presenter today will be Addis Home Care. LaShawn, are you available to present? I am, Daniel. Can you hear me? I can, loud and clear. You can begin uh, whenever you're ready, LaShawn. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel, uh, for this opportunity to speak today. Um, I bring you greetings from Addis Home Care. My name is LaShawn James. I'm the Regional Vice President uh, with Addis Home Care. Thank you. Next slide. So let me tell you, we are hiring. We are hiring home care aides um, to take care of our seniors in their homes. Um, we are doing various walk-ins Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 3. Um, we have a number of benefits that are available. If you're looking for part-time work, full-time work, we're flexible with hours. We have health insurance, 401k, weekly pay. Um, we also have employee discounts, employee recognition programs, um, legal shield, identity theft, a number of benefits for our home care workers. If you have or need flexible hours, we're flexible and we'll work with you on your schedule. Thank you. Um, again, my information, LaShawn James, Regional Vice President, and you can also reach me at ljames at addis.com, 312-663-4647.
next. Okay. And let me just tell you just a little bit about me. I've been in the AG network for more than 20 years, um, have engaged in number of education, um, socialization, social services throughout the city of Chicago. I'm one of the top performers um, with Addis Home Care, and we're looking for people to grow with us as I have in the past. I've been with Addis for more than 10 years. Next slide. So again, these are just some of the recognitions that I've had. I sit on a number of boards, um, advocate for seniors in the state of Illinois, um, seniors, veterans, and people with disabilities. Next slide. Thank you. So one of our, our mission is to provide cost-effective care and assistance that gives people the freedom to remain in their homes. We're one of the nation's largest providers in home and community-based services, have 42 years of experience in delivering high-quality, compassionate care. I tell you, we consider ourselves experts at home and community-based services. We're aggressive in our, our growth strategy, um, loan standing health plan and governmental relationships. We're the interested leading retention rates, um, outcome-driven model of care that coordinates home care services, support with the health plans and other risk-bearing entities. So we have a great relationship with what we call managed care and with our local case coordination units. Those are the folks that provide uh, referrals to Addis Home Care for services. Next slide, please. So again, same thing, been around since 1979, has been the leading provider in home and community-based services. We operate over 215 locations in over 25 states. We've grown since this slide. Um, we have over 30,000 employees nationwide. We serve approximately about 45,000 patients, typically the elderly, chronically ill, and those with disability. Um, we provide personal care, non-medical services. We focus on the ADLs, the activities of daily living. And some of those are bathing, grooming, dressing, meal preparation, running errands, et cetera. Next slide, please. So Addis currently covers uh, uh, every county in the state of Illinois, 25 branches uh, within uh, Illinois with personal care serving over uh, actually having 10,000 employees. We have one branch location, Lifestyle Options, that service all of our private pay. So those clients that are not eligible for the state waiver program, we're still uh, able to provide services to those individuals. We currently serve about 20,000 patients and clients. We provide services through, for example, Medicaid, health plans, um, MLTSS, Veterans Administration, uh, DCFS, Department of Rehabilitation Services, Case Coordination Units, and again, private funding. Next slide, please. And these are just some of the offices that we um, have throughout the state of Illinois. Uh, Gurney, Kankakee, Rockford, South Cook, Springfield, Wheaton, Chicago, Moline, Decatur, you name it. We're in about 14, uh, we have about 14 offices throughout the state of Illinois. Um, and, and if this just slide just tells you who we are, um, that our funding source comes from the Illinois Department of Aging, and we service those people that are 60 years of age or older, um, who, who is a citizen, who asset level is less than 17,005, and who has a risk factor. Next slide. So some of those activities of daily living, just I just mentioned, bathing, grooming, dressing, meal preparation, running errands, healthy snacks, laundry services. Next slide. Um, so we are hiring. We are hiring, and I'm actually looking for 200 plus uh, home care workers that have a heart for seniors. So if you know somebody, if it's you, then we are looking for you. And that means that you are probably re-entering into the workforce, trying to get your feet wet. And I tell people, healthcare, we're not going anywhere. We're not laying folks off. We are not going anywhere. We're gonna, we're here to stay. If you're looking for flexible hours, currently uh, caring for an elderly family member, this is important right here. We know that during the pandemic, we've had so many people that have been taking care of their loved ones, their grandparents, their parents, and you're at home. 
Well, I can continue to pay you. I can pay you to continue doing what you do to take care of a family member. And if you're interested in uh, uh, more clients, certainly we can help you do that. But we will help you take care of your own family member and pay you to do that. Um, you're looking for a new career in healthcare, looking for part-time work, have a heart for seniors, looking for full-time work, career growth, Addis is the place. We're looking for home care aides, and that's the position that we're hiring for today. Next slide. Um, again, the, some of the AD, some of the things that we do: medication reminder, shopping, running errands, dusting, companionship. Uh, we have a new program called Deep Cleaning, um, and that program has gone viral. If you're interested in working with that team, certainly we are looking for folks because that program is growing. Next slide. So thank you. Um, if you're interested. I want you to go on our website at addis.com. That's our online application. It's five questions, five questions. Um, and the position that you're looking for is home care aid. In addition to that, I'd like for you to email me. My email address again is ljames, L-J-A-M-E-S, at A-D-D-U-S dot com. My phone number, 312. 663-4647. Next slide. Okay. Again, this is just a flyer saying that we are hiring and I look certainly floor forward to seeing you in the breakout room to answer any intimate questions that you may have um, and just to share a little bit more about Addis. Thank you. Next slide. That's it. Okay. Oh, I think the slides are out of place. And I can certainly share this information in the in the breakout room, just some of the hiring credentials, social security card, one form of ID, two references, and a high school diploma um, that has, uh, and if you don't have a high school diploma or a GED, we certainly will take a letter of ref, uh, experience. Thank you. And again, uh, Addis is hiring, no hire, uh, new hire, onboarding training. We'll go through all of those slides uh, in the breakout room. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation, LaShawn. And you'll see the last slide that we do have here for LaShawn. Again, is contact information that she uh, just provided a moment ago. So if you want to jot that down, please feel free to do so. Well, Sean, if you wouldn't mind, maybe you could uh, throw that contact information into the chat if you get a moment as well. Uh, so folks have it there as we move on to our next presenters. Thank you so much, LaShawn, much appreciated. Thank you. Our next presenter will be Lawrence Hall. Wendelin, are you available to present? Sure. You can begin whenever you are ready. Good morning, all. Okay, my name is Gwen Stubblefield. I am the Human Resources Generalist for Lawrence Hall. We are currently hiring. Um, the pandemic has done wonders, I'm sure, for all uh, organizations and companies. Um, during this time, we have gotten several grants um, for numerous positions. So we do have several vacancies that uh, we do uh, want to open. Um, and also to by us working with youth, uh, wards of the state and also the community, we try to keep our staff, our youth in the community safe. Uh, so we are uh, actually mandating the vaccination uh, uh, moving forward. Um, so uh, with that being said, we do have some staff that have left due to the fact they do not want to be um, vaccinated. Um, we haven't set a date yet um, with that. 
Um, but that is a part of uh, moving forward with uh, open positions. So I do just want to make individuals aware if you are interested in some of the positions um, that we do have open. Um, but with Lawrence Hall, um, we do have several programs. We have a foster care program, a residential, clinical services, community wellness, a therapeutic day school, older adolescence program, and a workforce development program. Um, those are some of the programs that we do currently have available. And also we have added to their, um, we do work with um, the COVID program along with the city. So that is uh, also an added um, program within our organization as well, which we are currently hiring for as well, um, the contact tracers. Um, so that is a new program. Okay, so basically, these are all of the job postings that we are currently hiring for currently as of today. Okay, um, several of those positions, um, we do have more than one position available. These are all of the benefits that Lawrence Hall offer. We have a competitive salary and benefit package. Okay, our carrier for medical is Blue Cross and Blue Shield. We have two HMOs. We have um, HMO of Illinois and Blue Advantage and the PPO. Delta Dental is our carrier and BSP. Um, we have 401k, flexible spending. We also have the credit union. Um, we have life insurance through Dearborn National along with short-term disability and long-term disability, along with accidental insurance and um, critical illness. Okay, those are um, most of our benefits. Okay, um, look like possibly you did a little mix up with some of our benefits. Mm, that's not mine. Hi, Gwen. Those were all the only slides that I had uh, submitted from you. So that will be the end of the presentation that I have for you. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Gwen, for presenting. And again, just want to reiterate, I saw we had a few new folks join the session. Uh, if you do want to meet with any of the folks that are presenting here today, including the folks uh, over at Lawrence Hall, please plan to stick around for the breakout rooms portion of the event where you'll be able to meet with these folks, ask the questions that you have, and again, hopefully uh, land your next job opportunity. Thank you so much, Gwen. Our next presenter today is going to be Alverno Laboratories. Mara and Leslie, are you available to present? Yes, we are. Excellent. You can begin whenever you're ready. Great. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Leslie Merrill. I am the Talent Acquisition Specialist for Alverno Laboratories. And with me, I will have Mara Adams. Um, she is also a Talent Acquisition Specialist. So meet our recruiting team. Again, we have myself, Leslie Merrill, and my information is below. We have Mara Adams. Her information is presented below as well. And then Jasmine Wright, which she is our system talent acquisition coordinator. So a little history and background of Alverno. Alverno was established in 1999 as Alverno Clinical Laboratories Incorporated as an integrated laboratory network of six hospitals. Alverno Laboratories is one of the largest integrated laboratory networks in the United States touching over 8 million patient lives each year. In addition to multiple freestanding emergency departments and thousands of other clients across the Midwest, Alverno manages more than 30 hospital laboratories and an innovative central laboratory performing both clinical and anatomic pathology. We are joint ventured between two partners, Franciscan Health in Indiana and Amita Health located in Illinois. 32 owned hospital labs, five additional contracted hospital laboratories, 
Alverno Patient Service, excuse me, Service Centers, also known, known as PSCs, Physician Office Phlebotomist, also known as IOPs. Here we present Alverno values, integrity, commitment to service, faith, dedication to quality. Alverno Laboratories mission, we Alverno Laboratories in the spirit of Christ healing ministry continually improve the delivery of quality diagnostic data and laboratory service to our partners and caregivers. Our commitment advances the health, wellness, and continuity of care in the communities we serve. Our vision, Alverno leads and grows through innovative partnerships, cutting edge technology, informatics, and creative people. All right, so as Leslie mentioned, my name is Mara Adams and we have several open positions. Um, we have all shifts. We have part-time, full-time um, positions as well, and then PRN, which is as needed. Some of the positions that we have open currently is one actually in our human resources office. We are missing an HR assistant, so we're looking for that. Um, we did recently fill our talent acquisition specialist position, but we also have data entry clerks, client service representatives, supply clerks, fillers, lab assistants, phlebotomists, medical technologists, medical laboratory technologists, phlebotomy supervisors, support service supervisors, histology assistants, histotechnicians, MT coordinators, gen lab supervisors, and lab directors. So we're currently recruiting for all of those positions. Um, some will be in Indiana and some will be in Illinois. With our MT positions um, and MLT positions, we do have a sign-on bonus that is offered currently right now. We have competitive pay rates, we have excellent benefits, and we also offer tuition assistance. So something that's unique with us is that when you start working with us, once you've been with us for six months, we do pay up to 75% of your cost of your class, as long as you pass with a C or better. If um, you stay with us up to after the three-year mark, we'll pay 100% of your schooling as long as you pass with a C or better. And both of those cap at $5,000 a year. We have generous PTO um, time, which is paid time off, and um, just lots and lots of wonderful benefits to work with us. And go on to the next slide, please. So you might be wondering, how do I apply? There's multiple ways to apply, but the main way that we apply we would love for you to apply is just to go directly to our website. I know oftentimes you'll see things on Indeed and Front Door and things like that, but our website is the most reliable source when it comes to applying, which will just go to www.elvernolabs.com. In the upper right-hand corner, you will see something that says career opportunities, and then you'll select the position that matches your qualifications. And then once you do that, you'll click apply, upload your resume, ask answer just a few personal questions and continue through the prompts and your application will be submitted to us. So the next question might be, after I apply, what can I expect? So can we go to the next slide? Thank you. So after the application is submitted, our hiring manager for that particular facility will get your resume, they'll review it. Um, if they decide that they wanna call you in for an interview, if you meet the qualifications for the position, then they will reach out to you directly and set up a phone interview or an on-site interview. After that happens, um, if they want to continue further with you in the application process, they will have you fill out what's called a skill survey. That's how we do our reference checking. So the most important thing to remember is whatever the position is that you're applying for, your references need to be able to um, certify that you've actually performed that work. So if you're a phlebotomist, you're gonna want people that can verify your work as a phlebotomist. Um, we do pay, base our pay rates off of our reference checking with a skill survey. So if we're able to verify you have five years worth of experience with a skill survey, that's what your pay rate will reflect. Um, so once the skill survey is complete, the supervisor will send us what's called a potential hire. That potential hire then authorizes the talent acquisition specialist to reach out to you and extend an offer of employment. Um, so after your skill survey is done, then you would start to hear from HR if the hiring manager wanted to go ahead and extend a position to you. 
So here you'll see our contact information. You'll see Jasmine, Leslie, and myself, um, our email addresses. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. And then you will find us on social media as well. Um, the LinkedIn uh, link is there as well as our Facebook link. Excellent. Thank you both to Mara and Leslie for presenting today. And again, see that we did have a few more new folks that joined. Uh, so if you do have any questions for Alverno Labs or any of our presenters today, uh, please plan to stick around for the breakout rooms portion of the event where you'll be able to meet with these folks, ask questions that you have, um, and hopefully, again, lead to your next career opportunity. Thank you both so much. Our next presenter today will be Chase Bank, and I do believe I have uh, Charlene and Gabby on the line for that. Um, are you both available to present? Yes, I'll actually be uh, doing the presentation. Thank you. Hello and good morning, everyone. Um, JP Morgan Chase is excited to be here with you all today as you explore different career opportunities and see if we could be a great culture fit for you. My name is Charlene Cole and I am a diversity sourcer with JP Morgan Chase. Gabby Mariallo, uh, who is also on this call, is also a diversity sourcer and will be assisting me during will be assisting me during our breakout sessions regarding opportunities with JP Morgan Chase. So a little bit about our company. JP Morgan Chase is one of the oldest financial institutions. And for over 150 years, JP Morgan Chase has served the Chicago community. We service nearly 4.5 million customers, nearly 500,000 businesses, and 14,000 employees in the Chicagoland area. As a whole, we offer innovative financial solutions to millions of consumers, small businesses, and many of the world's most prominent corporate, institutional, government clients under the JP Morgan and Chase brands. Our history spans over 200 years, and today we are a leader in investment banking, consumer and small business banking, commercial banking, financial transaction processing, and asset management. I know that was a lot. <laughs> so with that being said, we do have many career options available at JP Morgan Chase, such as front-facing customer service, back office operations, call center, IT, and management opportunities, just to name a few. As human resource reps, Gabby and I are here to evaluate your resume and skill sets to see what would be a great career option to start your career marathon with us. So here at JP Morgan Chase, we do offer competitive benefits to our employees who are um, hired at 20 hours or more. And some of those benefits I'd like to highlight is that, of course, a work-life balance. We do offer paid time off. That's vacation time, personal days, sick time, as well as holidays. We also have employee assistance program. Compensation, whether it is an hourly pay or any life salary, along with employee stock purchase. With health and wellness, we do offer health benefits from medical, dental, vision, health spending accounts and wellness funds, employee discounts and banking. And of course, with retirement, we do 401k matching contributions and financial planning tools. And of course, we are value to your career. So we do offer business resource groups, tuition assistance program, and continuous learning and development. Now for our slide, we do have on here how you can apply with JP Morgan Chase. And pretty much a lot of the things I did speak about is definitely on our website. So make sure you do log on to our careers at chase.com. And again, that's careers at chase.com. And from the screen share, you will see next steps on submitting your profile online and sending us an email so you can be contacted by HR rep regarding your background. I want to thank you again for your time, and Gabby and I do look forward to speaking with you all during the breakout session. Excellent. Thank you so much, Charlene, for that presentation. And again, please plan to stick around for the breakout rooms that will be taking place after all employers have presented. Our next presenter for today will be The Bazaar, Inc., and we do have Garrett and I do believe Walter on the line. Are uh, you folks available to present? Yes, we are. Thank you. Excellent. You can begin whenever you're ready, Gary. Perfect. So, um, so to start, everyone, uh, I want to welcome you to. My name is Garrett Rosick, uh, do a director of employee engagement, and then we have Walter Johnson, uh, recruiting coordinator. Uh, so, uh, you know, first off, just want to thank everyone for being here. Um, 
Oh no, internet. Perfect. I think I'm good. Um, so today we're going to talk about, you know, the jobs that we have to offer at the Bazaar Inc. and Bargains in the Box, and also about our inclusion effort, um, because I think it stems a lot about who we are internally, uh, and, you know, kind of what we're about. Uh, so next slide, please. So, you know, we are a closeout, you know, uh, brand name merchandise closeout business, uh, third party logistics. Um, and pretty much what we do is we've been around for 60 plus years, uh, family run business. Uh, we buy and sell clothes out from name brand manufacturers. Uh, we sell anything from, you know, health and beauty, housewares to office school supplies and so forth. Um, all together, we have about 132 retailers, or excuse me, 132 employees uh, within our retail warehouse and office uh, setting. And, and those come from in the office setting, you know, accounts payable, accounts receivable, sales, buying uh, and customer service to our warehouse, uh, our wholesale side, which is, you know, forklift operators, uh, to packers, to material handlers, uh, and then also receiving and, ship, uh, receiving and shipping clerks. Then we have our retail side, which is, you know, more customer facing. We have uh, four retail stores. I'll, I'll put the addresses there on a later slide. But, you know, shift leads, uh, system managers, multi-unit managers, and so forth. Um, we are a disability and friend, uh, veteran friendly company. We'll get into a little bit about the numbers a little bit later. Um, and um, we're just a proud supporter of, you know, other uh, inclusive and supportive programs and nonprofits where we actually funnel a majority of our employers through. You know, we don't rely on temp services or anything like that. We rely on these nonprofits to staff uh, our workforce. So uh, next slide. So our mission and values, right? Um, our mission is brands you know, a marketplace you trust and prices you love. The biggest thing is as a third party logistics, we wanna make sure that our end customer is happy. And then our values, right? This is something that I think uh, Walter, you know, and I try to try to do a, a pretty good job of making sure that uh, people are aligned here. Um, it is a smaller company, so there is less hurdles, but we wanna make sure that our people come first here. Uh, we, do a, uh, we do a breakfast every Monday morning for all Bazaar employees and Bargains in the Box employees. Today on Friday, we're doing a Halloween celebration. We're gonna have really good Puerto Rican food coming in the door. We do attendance bonuses as well uh, to incentivize our employees. But we just wanna make sure people are happy here. We have an average tenure rate of seven plus years uh, for our employees, because we're a family-run business, people like that atmosphere. Um, we do expect employees to play by the rules. We do have a cell phone policy, headphone policy within our warehouse setting. You know, we do have schedules and shifts that we do ask people to abide by. Um, but we do also have, you know, we are flexible and accommodating. We understand that who our clientele is and who we're trying to, uh, you know, be an inclusive uh, workforce. So we kind of have to bend too. So we have two part-time shifts. We have a full-time shift. Um, and more or less, depending on what the employee is looking for, uh, we can kind of fit that mold. Um, the next is adapting and growing. We are doing a lot of changes internally here. Uh, we actually are launching our a new ERP system on Monday. So as you can see by my hair, I'm a little bit stressed out, uh, but it's gonna be exciting. Uh, but um, we're constantly making changes within our scan pack department. Uh, and also when our front office, we, we kind of really did digitized these past two years as a family run business but we're growing, right? And, you know, we expect as employees who want to who want to adopt and grow and upskill themselves as well. That's what we're about as well. And Walter can talk about his story. I know he's probably trying to do three things at once right now. So thanks, Walter, for being on. Um, the next is accessible value is pretty much the customer service piece behind who we are and, and what we're trying to do. You know, we're, we're, there's always an end customer. If it's a dollar store out in New York or if it's someone, uh, you know, in the Dominican Republic, you know, we, 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 we supply a lot of customers to all throughout the world uh, because we're just that close out nature. And the last is it's not just business, it's personal. Um, we want to make sure that everyone, you know, this is a family run business um, and you're treated like family when you walk in that door. I guarantee you that. Um, I just did my two walkthroughs today to the warehouse at seven o'clock a.m. So, you know, I'm always out and about and uh, making sure that our employees uh, feel like they're a part of this. Uh, Walter, uh, I'll, I'll give you the floor as well. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot, but um, anything you want to add to that? Um, I, I, um, for this job fair, I've heard a lot of people speak in reference to um, the different benefit packages and the different uh, salary rates and things of that nature. Uh, we're competitive, but we are not as competitive as most. So most of the people that we hire, uh, we vet real well. 
So when you come here to the bazaar to work, you're not only working uh, with us, you're working as a family and usually most people stay here. So I've been here since February and since I've been here uh, at the bazaar, I've learned a lot just as well as all of these values that you see up here today. These are things implemented into the company rooted deep. And I can say this is a great place to work just to give you a little bit. Back to you, Gary. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, the next slide too, we do do daily huddles where we communicate our uh, you know, production measurements depending on the apartment. We have bulk picks and book picks. We have TVs in our warehouse as well that communicate the orders that need to get done. Um, transparency is key here. Anytime you try to do inclusion within the workplace and try to set actual standards for people, you have to have a lot of conversations around this stuff and making sure that people are aware of what needs to get done. You know, are we perfect? No, but do we really try to make, put our best foot forward? Yes, and these daily huddles really help with that. Um, you know, collaboration and feedback. Um, you know, we do the review process. Everyone gets a 15, uh, 60, uh, 30 and 60 day evaluation process. If they want a 90 day as well, we will also make that happen. Uh, but it's constant collaboration, you know, with us as the supervisors uh, and so forth. Um, yep. And then the next is, you know, family run business. We do have monthly town hall meetings. We do 50% off each month uh, at our retail stores for all employees. And every employee, you know, does get a 30% discount uh, day in and day out. Um, and that's only, you know, a part of it. When we talk about, you know, our inclusion number, this actually just increased to 43 uh, people. We do have, you know, 33% of our workforce, people with disabilities that formerly incarcerated individuals and people who have experienced homelessness. Um, that's who we are. Um, and that's what makes us, you know, competitive in today's market. Like Walter said earlier, right? I have an Amazon right down the street from us. So, you know, how do you compete in today's market? You have to be creative. Um, and that's what we are. Um, you know, we have 75 community partners and our growth rate this past year during COVID has actually skyrocketed. Um, you know, as you can see, we, we, we support people from all different backgrounds. Um, and we'll get into the next slide if you want to kind of chime in. How we do this is we do uh, working interviews. So you don't actually, you know, just have a semi-structured interview. If you're applying for a job here, um, even if it's if it's like a buying position or sales position, we'll probably ask for a work sample. But if you're actually interviewing where you'll be using your hands, you actually do the job for an hour. Um, and then once then you sit down with me and Walter after we talk through it to see, hey, was this a good fit? Do you like working here, right? The goal is to not, you know, we understand the labor market type, but we want to get people who actually want to be here, like Walter said earlier, which is why we've had a lot of success with the people that we brought in. Um, you know, we're looking to make sure that they're best fit, you know, and, and, and honesty and, and that they want to grow here. Um, you know, I've had someone from uh, customer service and in, in our retail store, actually in a store manager move into their customer service in our sales department over the past year. I had someone in our retail store move into the shipping office. I've had people who are working as material handler actually working in our phones in our front office area. So like, the biggest thing is if you want to upgrade and you want to learn a lot of things with a small company, we're able to do that because, you know, there's only so many things that we can juggle at once, um, but you'll get that opportunity and, and you'll get the hands-on experience. Uh, anything I miss, Walter, with this? No, not at all. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, next slide. Here, just an FYI, we will have to probably wrap up within a minute or so to keep us on schedule. Perfect. I will be super quick. Um, this is our last slide. Uh, that, that's our job board on Paylocity. Uh, we'll make sure to post that into our group. You know, in our bazaar, we're located in River Grove. We have warehouse and office environment and our bargains in the box stores and retail. You can see that those are our four store locations, two in Chicago, one in Villa Park and one in River Grove. Once again, I really appreciate you. Next slide. If there is one. Yes, there is one. Perfect. If you have any information, please contact me. This is my email. Uh, I did not include Walter because you'll be talking with him more in, uh, as we do our breakout session. Uh, but once again, any questions, anything, we're always going to respond. Uh, our values are aligned with getting out in the community and making sure that we're synced with the community around us. And hopefully in the breakout session, you'll kind of catch that vibe. So once again, thank you guys for letting us be a part of this presentation. And uh, Really good job to all the presenters out there. I, I learned a lot just from your decks and uh, gonna take away some things that you guys did and put in our decks moving forward. I think you guys did an amazing job. So thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much to Garrett and Walter for that presentation. And again, I do believe those folks will be sticking around for the breakout room. So uh, do plan to stop by the room, ask any questions that you have, and who knows, maybe it'll lead to your next uh, job or career opportunity. Our final presenter for today will be Ms. Recordia Home. Uh, Christina, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Excellent. You can begin whenever you're ready. Okay, so um, Ms. Recordia is a home that serves people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. A little bit about our history. Um, we've been around for uh, just 100 years this year. Um, our organization was started by uh, Sister Rosemary. She um, was the executive director of our facility in 1969, and she's been the driving force um, behind the standard of care that we offer to the individuals that we serve. Next slide. We are located on the north side of Chicago. Uh, we did have a facility on the south side, but as of about 10 years ago, we're all collectively um, together up here. Our campus is about over 32 acres. Um, it looks more like that of a college university. Uh, we have several residential areas and those are divided um, in ways that support residents with all sorts of needs. So a lot of our residents have a lot of physical challenges. Um, we also, though, have a lot of residents that are pretty independent, and so in order to accommodate them, we have homes, uh, what we call in a community integrated living homes, and they're in the surrounding communities up here. So we are collectively one facility. Uh, our mission really is to do everything that we can to provide the individuals that we serve with a high quality of life. Um, Sister Rosemary's vision um, when she took over uh, was to make sure that we provide uh, an, an environment that offers residents opportunities to engage and have a meaningful experience in all aspects. So uh, we provide um, residential services, we provide therapeutic services, um, we also provide work opportunity and employment services. We also have a really big um, therapy department and recreational department. And then we also partner with a lot of universities in our surrounding areas um, so that the residents that live here have opportunities to engage with people outside of our community. And they partner with students and we have what we call a best buddies program and sort of acts as a mentor peer relationship in that aspect. We also um, have a couple of um, business enterprises where we contract with certain um, facilities and they provide work opportunities for our residents and then also um, you know provide them with a way of of making extra income we also have a, a restaurant on our campus as well as a bakery um, that is pretty lucrative we have also opened up a separate location for the bakery an extension of the bakery in glenview and then we're opening up an additional one just um, south of our campus about a block down to give more opportunities for people to from from the community to come in and access so what we are looking for, um, next slide, is uh, we are looking for individuals that have a passion to make a difference um, in the individuals' lives that we serve. Like I said, they have um, intellectual and developmental disabilities, you know, but we uh, don't focus on that. We focus on the person. And so every person that we bring in here, uh, they first and foremost have to have that passion to want to um, contribute to the enhancing the person's life. Some technical requirements, uh, they have to have a clear background, so no criminal history. They also have to have to be able to to pass a drug screen. Uh, I know that marijuana is legalized in Illinois, but we are still um, operating under the no marijuana policy here. We also, just like um, some of my peers today have spoken to in terms of the vaccination, we are requiring that every person that works here is fully vaccinated. And that um, is due to the medical vulnerability of our residents. And uh, for our direct care positions, which I'll get into in a second, they, uh, the education requirements are a high school diploma or GED. Um, some of our auxiliary positions don't have that requirement. Next slide. So the two main um, 
openings that we have, or I should say the ones with the, the largest amount of openings are direct support professionals and those individuals provide direct care. Uh, they also run program plans, they run uh, therapy programs, they assist residents in all those activities of daily living. And then the CNAs, the certified nur nursing assistants, and obviously they assist with more hands-on um, bathing, grooming, showering, toileting, feeding, uh, and they would assist with the nurses. We have auxiliary positions and we have a very big uh, kitchen here that um, prepares food to the recommended consistencies by the dietitians. So kitchen aides would assist with that food preparation and then the delivering food. We also, because we have that bakery, have a lot of openings in terms of people helping with the manufacturing of the um, manufacturing and packaging of the baked goods. And then we have a lot of housekeeping uh, positions that um, contribute to our overall environment throughout all areas of our campus. We also have a couple of specialty positions that uh, I can speak to more in the breakout sessions because I know we're on a little bit of a crunch time, but those would include like case management positions. We also currently have a payroll manager position open and a benefits position open as well as um, recreational therapy aid openings. Okay, next slide. Uh, we offer a slew of benefits as well, um, health insurance, vision, dental, and life insurance. Um, I can get into the logistics and the breakout sessions of what the contributions are. We also offer 401k matching and PTO, um, you know, obviously that's paid time off, and then tuition reimbursement after a year of employment. Next slide. Um, reasons to work here, you know, we do have competitive wages. We have very high standards in terms of what our expectations are um, in providing extraordinary care to the residents. And so our, majors, our wages also have to match that expectation along with our benefits. Um, we are one of the highest in the industry. Uh, it's very personally rewarding. You can hear uh, and speak to a lot of our employees and um, they will tell you in terms of work-life balance, you know, we're really in a new era where people are considering what is more beneficial official, but a lot of our um, employees that work here and work with our residents really find that um, this is also personally rewarding and not just a way to make a living. And then we also have a lot of professional development programs uh, where we invest in the growth and development of our staff. Next slide. And so the easiest way for you to apply would be to go to our main website is www.misrecordia.com. And then you would specifically click on the careers section and then you'll see a listing of all of those positions that uh, I spoke to. And last slide. Um, and if you want more specific information, uh, even beyond today, you can always reach out to me directly. Um, the easiest way to get to me is my email. And so I've put it here on the slide. It's just my name, Christina L. at misericordia.com. And then also, um, if you want um, to get a more inside view at the organization and the residents and the staff that work here, there is a video on YouTube. And you can just type in misericordiaemploymentvideo.com. And that's it. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation, Christina. And again, you all, all now will have an opportunity to meet uh, with all of our presenters today in the breakout rooms that will be taking place actually now because uh, Ms. Recordia was our final presenter. So a few things that I want to cover here before we kind of delve in, and I'll try to be quick about this because I know we're a little bit behind schedule here. So again, you all should have received an email when you registered. Uh, for the event, letting you know that you needed to have the most recent version Zoom uh, of Zoom client for meetings downloaded, excuse me, you can do so at the link that you see provided there. Um, again, this was shown at the beginning of the presentation as well. So hopefully a few of you folks uh, that needed to do so already did. If for whatever reason you need to download this um, software, this add on, if you will, uh, you can leave the session to do so I will be monitored monitoring the waiting room. So uh, again, if you have to download this add-on, you can leave the session. I'll let you back in. No worries there. Um, you'll see the next slide on the screen here is primarily aimed towards you as the job seekers. This is how to join a breakout room session. One of the reasons that we obviously like this format uh, that we use here is that you do have the ability to move uh, between rooms. So all of the employers that are on the line today, theoretically, you could meet with uh, throughout the session here, how you can do so. 
more specifically, if you're joining via laptop or desktop, is through these screenshots that you see on the slide here. So if you move your cursor or your mouse, um, there should be a toolbar that will come up. When I open the breakout rooms, you'll see this red square here. You'll see that icon there that says breakout rooms. If you click on that, a window should pop up and that'll be the next screenshot you see here. And you'll see room one, two, three, four, et cetera. That'll just be the employer names for the folks that we have on the call today. What you'll go ahead and do at that time, whatever room you wanna join, you'll see the red circle here in our screenshot, you'll just click join. And then you'll be redirected to whatever session it is that you want to join. I will have this slide up on the screen, um, just kind of as an instructional piece for you, just in case you're having a little bit of difficulties recalling. Again, just a brief overview of what to expect for today. So you'll see each employer rep will be, will be uh, assigned to a designated breakout room. We will have a member of the planning team in each room uh, to assist and also, you know, be there for basic troubleshooting purposes. Uh, ideally, we would have one 50 minute session, but I think we're probably going to have to bump that down to 45 minutes. Uh, just an FYI to our um, employers on the line to keep us on time. Um, and again, just want to highlight there that last point, you will, as a job seeker, be able to move freely throughout all employer rooms. And we actually highly encourage you to do so. Uh, meet with all of the employers on the line here today, not just ones that uh, pique your interest. You never know what other opportunities might come about. So please uh, stop by all the employer rooms, speak with these folks and uh, see what they have to say. Do also want to let you know, uh, one of the other benefits of this format or platform is that we do allow you to unmute yourself and also turn your camera on once you have entered a breakout room. Our last piece here is just some ground rules to follow. Again, be mindful of uh, everyone's time, if you would, please. Once you've asked your question, received your response, please mute yourself and allow other job seekers the same opportunity to be able to, to get their question answered as well. Again, just want to highlight you do have the ability to share your camera, but you know, please be respectful, please be re professional, please be mindful. Um, you know, we could see everything that's going on, and obviously in the background. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Uh, you know, while you're speaking, and again, please place yourself back on mute once your question has been asked and answered. Again, a few other things that we do have is the ability here. If you you know choose to be disruptive or inconsiderate. We will issue a verbal warning. Again, if you choose to disregard that warning, you will be permanently placed on mute after that initial warning. Uh, once you've been permanently placed on mute, if you continue to use the chat feature as a, a means of disruption, um, we'll have to unfortunately eject you from the session entirely. Uh, again, once that has taken place, you will unfortunately not be permitted re-entry. Again, just wanna highlight We've never had an instance where we've had to do that. Don't anticipate that'll be the case today. Just be respectful, be mindful. And uh, one thing that we do encourage you to do when you're in those breakout rooms is to raise your hand. There is a feature uh, that Zoom offers where you, you have the ability to raise your hand. So we do you know, suggest that you go ahead and do so. And then um, one of the moderators in the room that are acting as volunteers will go ahead and just kind of keep things orderly and call your name and then you'll be able to unmute yourself, ask your question. And then again, um, mute yourself to allow folks the other, you know, the same opportunity as well here. So um, one other thing that I do want to note here is that the session will be going for 45 minutes. There will be a timer in the right hand corner of whatever room you're in that'll let you know how much time we have left in the session. After that 45th minute has elapsed, we will have a 60 second countdown. All that means is for employers or job seekers, if you're in the middle of a conversation, you'll wanna begin the, the wrap up because you'll have a minute before you'll automatically be redirected to the main session here once that breakout room um, has closed. So just be aware of your time there. Again, look at that um, uh, timer in the right-hand corner. Uh, I don't have any additional things I wanna add here. So I think we can go ahead and uh, delve right in here uh, for the employers and the partners that are on the line, again, you will not have to manually join a room like you see on your screen. You will automatically be redirected to uh, your room. And one final thing to note here, I promise, as a job seeker, if you're having difficulty um, accessing a room on your own using you know, the, the screenshots that you see on your screen, 
just let me know, either throw me a message in the chat, which employer you'd like to meet with, or just unmute yourself and let me know, hey, I'm having difficulty meeting or joining a room. I wanna meet with you know, X employer. Let me know that I can manually assign you to a room at that point if need be. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open up these rooms. And those rooms are open now. Our employers should be joining them here. I'll take a look just to make sure. All of our employers are in the room now. So um, in their rooms now, excuse me. So if you as a job seeker would like to meet with them, please feel free to follow those instructions you see on your screen and go ahead and join that room now. Hey, Daniel, it's me, Jose. Hi, Jose, how are you today? How are you doing? Good morning. Uh, I cannot participate in any, any of the room uh, by phone, huh? No, unfortunately, you have to also have your Zoom account open, yeah. Jose, to be able to do so. No, I'm, um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get in my computer over here, and every time I come to the central office, it's a problem. Oh, Let me try okay. to log in again and see. Okay. If you're having difficulty uh, doing so, Jose, just let me know. I think I can assign you manually to a room, but just an FYI, I don't think you'll be able to move between rooms if you're joining mm -hmm. just by phone. Um, so you'll have to let me know. I just a floater that just most of the time what I do is I go every room and see. But uh, let me see if you let me go in now. Okay. Say he's launching a meeting, but again, if you are a job seeker having a little bit of difficulty joining a room, following the instructions that are on the screen, one thing to note um, before you start getting a hold of me to to ask if um, you can if you want me to manually assign you to a room. Sorry about that. If you're joining through a mobile device. So, you know, cell phone, tablet, anything like that. The instructions that um, you see up on the screen might be a little bit different for you. And what I mean by that, um, the screenshots that I have up there again are from my laptop. So if you're joining through a mobile device, if you look on the screenshot here, you'll see the more tab next to this breakout rooms icon. There should be something similar on your mobile device you may have to click that and a drop down menu will open up and off to the right hand side you'll see uh, breakout rooms there if you click on that it should open up that window and allow you to be able to join a room. Um, the reason I know that obviously is because I've experimented on mobile devices just something to note there. Um, give that a try and if you're still having issues joining a room come back to me and let me know what room you'd like to join and I will manually assign you to that room. Jose, I see your uh, Zoom account in the waiting room. I just let it in now. So give me a moment. I think I'm going to try to pair, pair those accounts if I can here. Give me a minute. And let's see. You must be on two different accounts. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and hang on the phone. OK. Okay. All right, Jose, you should be able to move freely between rooms though now. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, Daniel, thank you. Yep. Hi, Melissa, just saw your message in the chat here. Give me one moment, Let me take a look at the Addis room.
And I'm gonna assign you to that room now. So give me one moment here. And you should be good to go. And for any of the folks, if you're still having difficulties joining a session, just drop who you want to meet with in the chat and I can manually assign you to the room that you'd like to go to. And just an FYI, I'll let you folks know again who we have on the lines. So we have Metra. Chicago Lighthouse, Purpose Workforce Solutions, Addis Home Care, Lawrence Hall, Alverno Laboratories, Chase Bank, The Bazaar Inc., and Miss Recordia Home. Uh, those are the employers we have on the line today. So if you want to meet with any of those folks, again, throw them into the chat and I will assign you to that room. Thank you. And Jose, I don't know if you're still on the line, you might want to join Chase Bank's room. Oh, looks like we got quite a few folks in there. So um, I'm sure Susan might be able to um, take the help there as well. Thank you. I see somebody who raised their hand. You're more than welcome to unmute yourself and ask uh, your question. And again, if you have a question, feel free to ask. For folks that are still in the main room here, if you're still having difficulties trying to join a room, again, you know, follow, try to follow the instructions that you see up on the screen there. But if you're still having some difficulties, let me know which organization you'd like to meet with, and I will assign you to that room manually. Just drop me a message in the chat and let me know.
And to the individual that just asked how to join the Chase Bank meeting, I'll go ahead and manually assign you to that room. That'll probably be the easiest way to do so. So I'm gonna send you an invite over here real quickly. You'll just wanna be sure to accept it so you can join that room. And again, to folks that have not joined a room, just let me know if there's an employer you'd like to meet with and I can send you to that room if you're having difficulty uh, using the instructions above to join a room.
Hi, Ken. Real quick question before I close these rooms. Were you yes, able sir. to see? That was the first time I used that broadcast message to all feature. How did that look? What did that do? Uh, it came across the top of the screen under a blue banner. Okay. Uh, gotcha. with, your, with your notes with, written in white lettering with a blue background, basically. Okay. Um, uh, it was clear. It was nice and clear. Awesome. Did, uh, folks, uh, know what was happening. did folks use the uh, raise hand feature? Uh, actually, our room was not well attended. We had we had um, two people. Uh, one was a young lady that uh, she had, she came on and spoke, but we had someone that just showed with a phone number, mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to pull them up in the chat, and they okay. basically sat there muted. I tried to send them a, a message, but uh, their name uh, nothing came up in the chat to even indicate they were there. Gotcha. But that was that was a little different. That was a new one on me. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all these rooms now, just an FYI. Okay. And thanks again for everything, Dan. Appreciate you. Yeah, not a problem, Ken. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you, Daniel. Thank you, Jeff. Looks like uh it's still when you close all the rooms, it still sets a 60 second timer. So those folks should be back in the room in about a minute or so. Again, a few new features here that we haven't had to use before. So always learning. And I think you said the video for like today and tomorrow, that'll come out sometime this week or early next week. 48 hours, you said? Yeah, oh, okay. I should, honestly, it should be ready by Friday. That's cool. No, I'm, I'm uh, interested in listening to my <laughs> my workshop. I've got to take notes, get it ready uh, much better for the next one. <laughs> you did phenomenal, man, both you and Rosie. So. Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you very much. I, I, I know I owe you guys lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, man. So I think taking a look here, I think we've got a majority of the folks here back in the main room. So everyone, welcome back. Uh, we do apologize for a little bit of the time crunch here. Unfortunately, schedule wise, time got a little bit away from us today. So we do apologize for that. I know we had to end the session about 10 minutes earlier. So, um, but nevertheless, of course, you know, hopefully you were able to get a lot of good information from employers, get questions answered and get a, a little bit of information on follow-up and no, next no, steps. No, I do no. want to um, allow folks to have an opportunity to make a few concluding remarks. So I think what we'll go ahead and do, Jeff, if you don't mind, we'll follow the same format that we did for the introduction. So we'll go Jeff at IDES, then we'll go Biz with DRS, and then of course, Ken at ENES. And then uh, I'll give a few kind of um, next steps and information to let you know what to expect next after today. So Jeff, take it away. All right, I appreciate that, Daniel. And Daniel, I wanna thank you for, you know, all the hard work you do behind the scenes here and being being the host of these, of these workshops. So we appreciate that with this workshop and other workshops we've been on and future workshops. So definitely wanna appreciate you and your, your team at SIU. Um, Susan Wills, um, appreciate um, working with you. You've been a great partner um, with various hiring events that we've had. So it was good to have the call event today with you with the Coalition of African-American Leaders. So very much appreciated. Uh, Ken Fobbs with ENES, um, great presentation you did yesterday. Um, if you guys were not able to attend that, it will be on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel in, um, on Friday. So great job. I appreciate all, all you've done with, you know, with, our, with our team in, in the workshops. And um, Department of Rehab Rehabilitation Services, Biz and Arthur, appreciate um, the support and um, working with us on this event. Um, all the employers that are here today, um, definitely appreciate um, all, all you've done, um, coming in here and, and assisting our job seekers and the great information that you've provided. 
Um, I, I hope that you get a lot of great hires. And the last but not least, all the job seekers that were able to attend today. So I do wish you the best in your, your future endeavors. And I hope that um, you do, did find some good um, opportunities that are here. And as I said, too, on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel, there is on um, this will have been recorded. So if you were to log in there on Friday, you, um, if there is additional information that maybe you wanted to look at or if you weren't able to attend in the beginning, um, that information is available there. So thank you, everybody. And I'm going to send it away to Biz um, from DRS. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh, thanks to everyone for participating today. Um, on behalf of the Division of Rehabilitation Services, I want to thank uh, everyone on the planning committee, uh, starting at the top with Daniel, Susan, uh, Jeff, Ted, Jose, um, and Ken. Um, you know the the partners, uh, you know, in 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 workforce development for allowing DRS to be uh, you know part of this event. Um, we love um, we look forward to collaborating with you guys in the future. Uh, so we can maximize uh, employment opportunities for people with disabilities and folks from marginalized communities. Uh, I want to uh, also thank um, uh, DRS employer partners, the Bazaar and the Chicago Lighthouse for joining us today and you know being part of this event, uh, sharing all the great opportunities that you guys have at your organization with all the job speakers here, uh, as well as all the employer uh, partners that participated in the event today. Um, you know, I'll make sure that I share all the information that you guys, um, you know, shared with us with all DRS job seekers, so they can, uh, you know, help you guys fulfill your workforce needs. Uh, and I want to thank um, all the job seekers that came out today and, and you know, engaged with us and participated in this wonderful event. Uh, hopefully, it leads to uh, employment outcomes, and you guys are on your uh, path to um, starting a career in 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 uh, you know uh, a career of your choice. Uh, with with the employers here today. Um, one last note that I do want to uh, make is because we're the Division of Rehabilitation Services, if you or someone that you know has a disability and you guys want to work, uh, please visit the link that I'm going to put in the chat box right now. Uh, it is a um, referral system where uh, you know, you can submit your information and someone from our field office will contact you to discuss VR services. Uh, please share the link with anyone that you know uh, you know, that's in your network that has a disability so they can take advantage of the uh, important services that vocational rehabilitation provides. Thank you again so much for your time. Uh, at this time, I'm going to um, pass it over to Mr. Ken Fobbs from uh, ENES. Uh, definitely. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. Thank you so much. I, I echo uh, the words of Jeff and Biz in, in terms of really thanking you all for joining us, all of our employer partners, uh, our uh, our team that put this together. It's been always a pleasure working with you. I look forward to our next event. And uh, all the job seekers, thank you all for coming out as well. Um, please follow up with the, you know, a, a big thing we talk about is the next steps or the follow-up. Please follow up with the employers. Let them know. Reach out to them. Send them an email. Say, hey, I was there and I would love to talk to you further about trying to find some opportunities. So, Again, on that, thank you on behalf of the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, uh, em Employment and Employer Services, all of our partners here, and really look forward to seeing you, uh, maybe bumping into you in line in somewhere where after you found your job and making good money, and then we can laugh about uh, coming in here and listening to me mumble through this, this talk here. So thank you all for joining us and have a wonderful day and the rest of your week. Thank, thank you, you, everyone. and. Um, I'll be real quick with the last thing that I have to say, just a few housekeeping items. Again, uh, I'll be uploading both recordings from the workshops yesterday and today to Illinois, to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel within 48 hours. So expect that by Friday afternoon at the latest. To employers, I will be uh, following up with you with those registration lists, the link to those recordings and the um, attendance reports as well for you to conduct follow-up. And that is all that I have for today. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all for joining and take care.